Hey, this is Legendary Beats here. Welcome to the 7 Steps to a Legendary Mix series. This is episode 2, video 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, tip 2 on color coding your sounds in FL Studio 11. If you have not watched the first video, which was naming sounds in FL Studio, please watch that now. It's very vital. Um, if you already know that uh, how to do that, then you could skip that video. And if you don't care about the coloring, you can skip this video and go to video three, which is about which is about assigning sounds to a track on the mixer. But yeah, in this video, we're going to be talking about assigning colors. You know, color coding your sounds so that it's easier for you to see what you're working with in the playlist of you, as well as on a step sequence. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so as we started in video one, I already had started changing some of the colors. And as I was saying in video one, is that I, I use specific colors for certain sounds. Um, each project is different, but always I tend to use yellow, color yellow, or greenish color, whatever it is, lime, uh, for the drum patterns, for the drum instruments. That's just practice that I do. Um, just something that's consistent that I will always do every time I make beats. Uh, so let's just go through it real quick. This video is not going to be too long. Don't want to take up too much of your time so that we could, you know, mix this beat. Right. So here we go. So we're going to first start off in the step sequencer. Here already have these colors changed. What you can do is you're going to right click. You're going to hit rename color base. Use your base. Uh, I kind of sometimes put base the same with the drum sounds leads since there's a lot of leads in this track most of the instruments are leads I could color it whatever i want i'm gonna color it green make all of them green right click since they're all the same sound color them all green 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 gate change this one to i guess bluish all right, so colors are changed. Uh, let me save this. Always save while you're making your edits or changes because you don't want your computer to crash. That happened to me a couple of times, and I lose the whole project in all edits. Okay, so now we already changed the colors in the step sequencer. As I said, all of these colors here are FX. I don't care how they look. I don't care what color they are or name they are. They're just FX. But what are important or are the actual sounds that make the actual beat. So that's the kicks, leads, arps, uh, gates, whatever it is. Those sounds are important, especially when you export out your sounds. You want the person, the engineer, to be able to see exactly what they're working with. So we, in the step sequencer, we change the sounds now. Since I use the play, the uh, what is this playlist view in order to see exactly what I'm doing, how I'm constructing the beat, I like to change the color of this so I can see exactly what I'm working with. So that I don't some uh, sometimes you might just put something in the wrong space uh, without even knowing. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to change the color of the actual uh, step sequence on this playlist view because all these are step sequences that are just inputted here. So this was the color of the actual instrument and this is the name of the sequence step sequence that we're actually editing at this time because we named it that. So what we're going to do is go to uh, on the numpad for me I started from step sequence one and this one I named kick. So what you're going to do is you could either hit F2 or you could click here click rename and then you go to color since I already colored it yellow I'm going to hit that. And as you can see, it instantly changed the color of that step sequence on the, on the playlist view. So we're going to go through all of these sounds and do the same thing. Uh, to increment up to the next sound or next step sequence, you could hit the plus button on the numpad, or you could just go up here, go to two. But for video sake, I'm going to do it my way and hit plus so it could be faster. You, wouldn't, you guys wouldn't be you know, waiting on, you know, that tedious process of keep going up and down. So here we go. So I hit F2, change, uh, clicks for, opens the box for the rename. Then I change the color, yellow. There we go. Bomb. Plus F2. Arp. Hmm. 
doesn't matter. Delete five. Did I change the color? Delete five. New. No. Okay. All right, and that's it, and here you go. All colors have been changed. Now I know exactly what I'm doing. So if I was to take this and accidentally put this here, it's, you're gonna see that the color stays there. So I know that it's in the wrong place. That just makes it easier. It helps the workflow. Um, all of this works towards your mix. I mean, I guess you might think this is like fluff information, but this is very important. Once you do these small things at, in the beginning of your mix, it keeps you from getting frust frustrated at the end. And you keep doing this as a practice, it'll be easy. And uh, you'll be pushing out more professional work because when you export your tracks, you already have it named out, all the sounds. You already have it color coded for yourself so you know exactly what you're working with. And it's just, be you'll feel better working on a track. That's the end of this video. Hope to see you in the next video where I'll be showing you how to assign sounds to tracks on the mixer in FL Studio 11. All right, please leave your comments below. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more updates on new videos. All right, I'm out. Peace.